Hey everyone, Jake from Algo Daily here. Today, we're gonna tackle a problem that was made infamous by a tweet. We're gonna dive in the trees and have some fun. Let's do it. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jake from Algo Daily here, and today we're gonna cover a really fun problem that uh, is well known because of this tweet. So on June 10th, 2015, Max Howell, the author of Homebrew, the package management software for the Mac, tweeted this out. Google, 90% of our engineers use the software you wrote, Homebrew, but you can't invert a binary tree on a whiteboard, so fuck off. Today, we're gonna cover how to invert a binary tree. To be fair, Max Howell has kind of walked back that tweet a little bit, and he admitted that it was mostly out of frustration but it's still good for you to know how to invert a binary tree regardless so you don't get it during an interview and then write an angry tweet about it. So here's how the problem goes. We're given an input binary tree that looks something like this. So we'll start off very simple. We'll start off with one, two, and three. A node of one with two children, two and three. The output that we expect is basically the original tree flipped over on its vertical axis. So right here on this line. And so the original root node of one stays because it's just one node. There's nothing to flip over. And so we see it get carried back out over here. However, the children, and remember because it's a binary tree, there's only two, two and three get swapped so two was original wood. So two was originally on the left, and three was originally on the right, and then we end up with three as the left child and two as the right child. And so in approaching this problem, you'll probably want to reach for some methods of traversing the tree. And the reason is this. We're gonna need to know the positions of two and three, or at least where the references are in order to properly make a swap. So knowing our tree traversal algorithms, we'll probably want to do some kind of depth first search or some form of traversal starting from top down so that we can reach the child nodes. And so let's say we start at one. We, we traverse through the tree, we're given the root node, we start at one. There's a pointer to the left child and a pointer to the right child. Depending on the implementation, it's usually as simple as just swapping the two with the three and swapping these pointers, and we'll end up with something like this. Now, the fun really grows when the binary tree grows and we have to deal with some non-trivial cases. So for example, we still have this tree, one, two, three, but it's now extended so that two has two children of its own four and five, and three also has a right child, six. So what we'll see is that when we traverse through and we are at one, we can swap the two and three, and we'll retain what we had prior, that's one, three, and two, so that's flipped over. But at this point, we want to return four, five, and six as six, five, Four. So how do we get something like this? Well, when we swap over the two and three, remember, their children, their references haven't been processed yet, so they'll get swapped over. So before we get this, three will point to six still, which is correct, but two will point to five, to four and five originally. But we want five and four. So what we'll need to do is continue the process of swapping. When we're at one, we'll swap two and three, and then we'll move down. When we're at two, we'll swap four and five. And notice I have these extra nodes here to demonstrate what's happening. When we swap four and five, the order becomes five, four, and then threes, six over here. The beauty is, because it's recursive, five and four will naturally get swapped with 
with the sixth note. And we'll end up with six, five, four. Five and four being the children of two, and six being the left child of three, which is exactly the order that we want. So we can look at the solution on algodaily.com. So the function goes, we start with uh, the function signature that just takes in the, the root tree node or the head tree node. If there is a node, we'll do the swap. So we store the left reference in a variable temp, point the left to the right. And that's this line is where the swap happens. And then the right gets set to the original left. So at this point, we've swapped. And the next two lines are to do this recursively. So we'll do a swap of the left child's nodes and then we'll do a swap of the right child's nodes and we'll continue until there's no more root node or there's no more node, which is our termination clause. And at that point, we'll return the head node.